big. No. So that's one hint that tells us that the environment looks a lot different. Now the other thing is in the geological record, so these rocks are telling us a lot of stories about what the past is like. Do we have any geologists in the group? Nope. All right, I can make fun of them. Because <laughs> geologists, they name everything so simply. Paleontologists, they like to make things really complicated. But geologists, I love them. They, oh, they're so easy. I can get you guys to guess the three types of stone we have here. Well, you already know them. So we're going to guess those. So those who don't know, so the bottom ones, with the rills or the water channel coming through it, it is made up of mostly what? Can anybody say? Not clay. Sand. sand. Yeah. So this is sandstone. So we're gonna, I'm gonna make you guys guess the first part, and then you just add stone to the end, and then that gives you the name. <laughs> so sandstone. Now sandstone tells us that we had a lot of rivers going through the area. Um, sand is a bigger particle compared to clay and silt, and so, in fast-moving water, it still would have precipitated or fallen out of the water. So, we have sand, and then we have another layer on top that's kind of popcorn-y or elephant skin looking. Kids like to make pies out of it. Adults like to squish their feet in it still with their young at heart. What's that? Mud. Mud? So, it's mudstone. <laughs> now, mudstone tells us that this water that was in rivers, for some reason, stopped or slowed down so much that the clay 